Okay, everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Spyro and oh, what? Spyro the Dragonfly. Um, in this part, we're going to be going into Cliff Town, where we're going to be doing more stuff. Okay. Now, Cliff Town was probably like the first people. Facebook updates and friends texting me at the same time. Okay, whatever. I am very unprofessional in my recording today. I probably should have waited to a time when no one was texting me, or I probably just should not respond, but uh, I'm not going to do either of those things. I don't know how long this level is going to take, but if, it, if I don't have enough time to actually go into the next level, I'm actually just going to do the speedway at the end of this video just to, you know, keep things kind of so I don't have to make random cuts in the middle of the level. If I can avoid it, that would be nice. Don't slap me. Also, they hit, they hit gems in a lot of locations here, but they hit them in the pot, so you have to make sure you flame the pot to get all the gems. Next level. So I didn't know about that. I had a hard time 100%ing this level, and they also have one other place where they really hit the gems. Yeah, they hit them a lot back here and everything, so make sure you just look around and, you know, don't think that they wouldn't hide them in some place just because they were nice. They were kind of mean with the gem locations. Leg. Okay, he just did like a 360. Did anybody else just see that? He just did a 360. I'm tempted just to let him live for that, but I need to egg for 100% completion. He did a 360 no skip. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not that much of a fan of first person shooters, yeah. That was is that dragon was just talking. Oh, you you realize that you can't flame people in metal armor. I'm like, I know I've known that since like ten years ago. What year is this now? Yep, ten years ago. Okay. I don't know how long I've had this game, but uh, sounds about right. <laughs> ten years. What is this game? This game came out in like '98, something like that. I got this game when I was like three. I'm like 15 now, so it's been even more than that. Don't slap me. They can't even do any damage to you, but they can slap you and they can knock you into the thing. Smoking loud enough, I guess. Thank you for distracting me, computer. Ugh, whatever. I get everything back here while I'm down here. Oop, nope, there's one up. Okay. These, they all always hide one of those things in every level, so. How do I know this? The guidebook told me. Um, did I get this gem? Yes, I did. Okay. I usually wind up falling off on this corner for no apparent reason. I don't know what it is, just the slope is just weird. It's at an angle. Unintentional Josh Jepsen reference, but whatever. Move. Thank you. Move your dying corpse. Come on! I guess I've pretty much just proven, yes, I do watch Josh Jepsen and like that entire crowd, NCS, Chugga, John. Well, here's the exit, but we're nowhere near done. I don't think I've taken the exit yet. I probably should just be safe here. But whatever. Maybe I won't. This is probably just too far away. Should be about there. I think you can actually drown in these things. I'm, I'm gonna test, but I think you can. Apparently not. Okay, I'm wrong. Figures. Can't, I could have sworn you could. Oh well. Cooked dragon. Baked dragon. Yeah, I know. I know how to glide to the other side of the river. Thank you very much. Hey, what's on the other side of that river? People are probably just like, wow, how do you know all this? Yeah, that's just how many times I've played through this game. Especially, like, the first, like, three worlds. 
probably most people are like, are like even though the game they've played through so many times, they'll probably have like memorized everything from like the first three worlds or something like that. Well, if it's a three world game, or if it's a six world game, because Spyro 2 is a three world game, I think. Spyro 2 I haven't played nearly as much as this, though Spyro 2 is the first one I beat. Um, you don't want to jump down off of here back there until you talk to that one dragon up there. Because they kind of just pull like a... I don't want to say it, but they do, they're like that. I mean, they pull a certain D-word move, but I'm not going to say it. Just listen to this dragon for a second. You've reached the highest point in Cliff Town. You can get to almost anywhere from here. If I were you, I'd use that world. Yeah, they they make you wait until you're already up here before they give you the whirlwind. But then I just kind of like, oh, you should have noticed there's a whirlwind here, and it wasn't really there. Like if you actually looked, I went back there, and it wasn't there. They were kind of, oh yeah, here's the secret gem locations too. This got me forever. They hit like a nice 25 gem back there and everything. Jump, thank you. Yeah, they. That was a. Gems just about everywhere that you need to get on all these rooftops and everything. I got kind of close to the mic there. By the way, I, I was looking at my YouTube page and for whatever reason, Sony Vegas uploaded the uh, first part of Spyro the Dragon as an HD part. I have no idea why, but whatever, it's an HD. Not like it really matters. Any inconsistencies with the upload quality and everything like that that's not my fault I'm just trying to do what works I had to spend like I spent like two hours trying to get those parts for today just to upload because the one part for spider 4 whatever I used it rendered at like 90 like 90 gigabytes like I can't work with that yeah like YouTube failed instantly because I could not work with 90 gigabytes of worth of stuff that was just impossible to do so whatever, apparently I got it fixed and it uploaded. Hopefully I don't have the same problems with these, but they, with like the first section I did it rendered in like a second and I was like, wow, my computer really is fast because it's a new computer and I'm not used to the speeds yet. Okay, wow, well, I was thought I was gonna fall there. Um, okay, is that it? I guess that's it. Okay, what time are we up to? I didn't even start the timer. Oh well. Yeah, I'm actually using my uh, iPod. Here's the timer. Just because, you know, this way I can, like, account for cuts and everything like that. And I don't have to look over at my computer, which is, like, three feet away. No, my computer's more than that. My computer's, like, my computer is, like, five feet away or something like that. And I can't see the clock from where I'm sitting at without, like, moving my head all the way back and looking. So, what time are we up to, anyway? Eight minutes. Oh, crap. The video is... Video. Okay, sorry if the video is not coming up very well. I uh, my capture card. I really need a new capture card. I cannot tell you how much I want that. I'm just gonna go. Ice cavern. Yeah, I really need a new capture card though, and I don't know if I should just get like a cheapy one now or try to go for like a really expensive like DVR one or something like that. But. Whatever, I don't have that option now. I don't have enough money. I don't have a job either. <laughs> oh well, means I can spend more of my time staying home during the summer doing this. I wanted to start doing this earlier, but I just did not have the power I needed, and I can't find my old capture card, and I have to use this one, which is even older. But whatever, I guess it's getting the job done for now. My one, the other one I had, the one I recorded my first Spyro one. Caution. Yeah, whatever. The one I recorded like my first Spyro one LP on and my Sonic one LP. Uh, that was actually a Mac capture card. Like it was exclusively made, exclusively to the Mac. There were, the drivers and everything were all Mac, and it was always like, it was completely unadjustable. Like I couldn't change the video properties or anything, and the audio was always off sync by like five seconds. And if you, if, like if you look at the video, you actually see that. 
There's nothing you can do about that. But, so I, I just need better capture cards. You die. Those guys just walk right and shoot snowballs at you. Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember this section. This part is kind of weird. These gems actually do count to so you have to kind of get up on them and just charge into them real quick and I'll fall down. Kind of difficult to do. You can't play them, you actually have to charge into them. Whatever. Dragon here. Are you just going to be another thank you for releasing me or are you going to tell me something important? Oh yeah, I remember what he's going to say. He's going to say that, uh, well we'll get to it later. I'll explain it when it needs to be explained. I'm the guide, not these dragons. However, dragon like I may seem from my constant whoa. Um, okay. From my constant playthroughs of this game. Now this game they were like now well this level what crap, well there's my first death. Fantastic. Okay, well there goes the no death run. Um, but as you can see, they actually make you glide all the way down there to get the key. Like actually from the platform up so on. I did not mean to do that. Of course I didn't mean to do that. But they do make you glide down there to get this. Because it's on an island and you can't get to the island from down there. Trust me, I tried. I gave it my best sleep on my practice while just to prove my point. But see, it's like over you and you can't get to it. Oh well. They'll give me like four lives in this world anyway. It's just that one secret that I'll show at the end of the video. And you know, I'll, if I remember, I'll leave like an annotation or something, like a pause annotation, and just be like, hey, you have to click here if you actually want to see this clip. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go up first. Thank you for releasing me. Yep, we did that. Oh, that's what they're all gonna say later. Here's one of our lives. There's like, there's another hidden platform with three more that they like taunt in our face, and I didn't figure it out for like. Who's all the way over here? How did he hit me? But I didn't figure that out for many years. I don't think I found that out until I had the internet. I don't know if I showed it in my original part. I haven't really cared enough to watch my stuff. I never watched my stuff back in the, uh, when I did my original. The bat just glitched through the platform. Okay, um, I'm not gonna question it, let's just move on. Now, as you can see here up ahead, we have these, uh, Rhinox in armor. But, um, to just do that, you just charge them off the cliff to defeat them. Okay, things, thank you. And we're back up here. I'll be back for those gems in a second. I'll get them on my way down. Sorry for the on there. I'm, uh, I'm not really tired, but I woke up kind of early. Jeez, what time are we Okay, I have like a man left. I don't think I'm going to make it all the way through. So that means in the next part, probably be the boss already well but hopefully though I won't be putting the boss in its own separate part but you know hopefully it'll actually be a decent sized video this time but I don't know people do people really mind videos that are like four minutes I don't know. especially because no one's watching this LPS currently of making it like people will probably watch it in the future if I well maybe but I'm just gonna get this dragon here and then I'm gonna call quits for the day. So, um, yeah, thank this you is. For releasing me. Another thank you for releasing me, dragon. But no, seriously, this is uh, Paper Spyro. This is Nick. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and tune in for my other parts, which you can have sent to your YouTube homepage by clicking the subscription button that's right above this video, wherever you may be watching it. Bye bye.